right, so I marked this. I'm gonna try to put the clamp in there. I might be able to cut like a soda can or something as a shim, make it work. So I'm gonna drill this through first before I uh, cut it for the clamp section. So there's that. So I'm gonna go the next size up for, actually, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna cut it first. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle here. So I got a relief to, to squeeze. And then, um, then I'm gonna drill halfway in here to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna run a tap through and then I'm gonna drill this size big enough for the uh, for the cap screw to be recessed in there, like that. Same way we did with the, uh, the bottom section. I'm just gonna do that with this. Either 1564, I guess. Uh, what did I do with it? There it is. Check our fit, slides in there nice. So, let's see what size head this was. Hmm. It's almost not even worth doing that. It's basically just going to kind of step the whole thing down, but let's give it a try. Let me get the tap. I'll tap this. So that's done. Kind of wish I could have got that hole for the bearing a little bit better than I did, but I guess you only have what you got to work with. So it is what it is. I'll make it work. So 
it's not like it's a high speed application or anything, it just holds. It just needs to swing a little. We get some squeeze on there. Let's see if it'll hold the bearing. Doesn't appear like it will, so that's great. So I guess what I'll do is I'll cut a piece of um, soda can. Make use it as a shim and uh, shim this so it doesn't fall out because I guess I used up all my luck yesterday. So now I just got to work on that little uh, bearing problem and then I'll be all set with this. And the only issue I'm going to have is that I need that same size for the, the upright rod to adjust the height. So that's going to be kind of a problem too. All right, so I took this rod. It's gonna be an upright rod. I'm probably gonna bolt it right on there. I uh, drilled up the center with just a hand drill. And I tapped it for the five sixteenths with the uh, flathead flathead nut there or bolt. So I'm going to drill a five sixteenths hole here, and I'm going to use a a countersink or whatever you call it and I'm going to uh, put that taper in there so I can keep that nut here below the surface and uh, this will sit flat so I got, once again with this plate I kind of laid everything out to try to put the wheel and the weight directly in the center I mean, it probably doesn't matter with this plate generally the, the, the one that was in the photo that I had was a lot bigger and it fit like the scale and everything on the plate, but I don't have a plate that big and I don't necessarily think that that's all necessary. So I'm just gonna kind of punch it here and drill the hole there. to try to make that recess in there. A taper, whatever you call it. You know what I mean. It's got some bite to it. So close, just going around a little bit more. Alright, so we'll 
little below now. That'll work. So here we go. I threaded this together. We've got our our uh, flathead bolt down there. You can see it's recessed under. Um, I put never seize on that because that's um, that is stainless and stainless will corrode inside of aluminum. So I'll eventually have to cut this down to a certain length, whichever length I choose. So the next thing I got to do is take this block and we're going to make a bracket about that long. That'll just slide over the top here. And then that arm will hang off about here so I can set my height up and down. Um, I'd like to make it so it will pinch the same way I did with the little with the little arm here. So I'd like to make, make make it pinch there, but I gotta find something that will drill the hole out the appropriate size because it is the same size as the bearings here, and you saw how that went. Um, if you look real close, you get the black and the what's that red? Um, so that's uh, a soda can or a energy drink can that I found in the garbage. Um, so that's what I did. I kind of I cut it open. I laid it out and I took a ruler and I just, I used the awl to just, I actually cut it with the awl along the ruler. The width of two bearings. So I got two bearings in there. And I wrapped it around. It went around probably two and a half times. And then I slipped it in there and pinched it down. And uh, it seems to be holding. It didn't bottom out here, so it's, uh, it's definitely holding it pretty good. So I'm not worried about that. Um, so I got to find out exactly how I'm going to make this bracket. I mean, essentially, I could just put a bolt in it and have the bolt press up against this rod. But I would rather have it with a tight fit and then clamp around the rod. So I may take one of these guys and I may drill it undersize. So it's supposed to be 7 8 I might drill it the 13 16 here and then um, use a die grinder to open it up to the right size. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm waiting on the, the two wheels. I don't want to use this one specifically, but I'll get another. I got another one coming today. And uh, I mean, I guess I could use these, but. I like the idea of using the wheels just because this uh this k groove that's cut into these bushings i don't want the bearings and the stuff getting hung up on that so i like the idea of the wheel uh being able to float over it better um so i might get in when i get another the other wheels i might just cut them drill or drill them with this hole saw here or i'll put them in a put a bolt through and put them in a drill and uh, sand them on a belt sander or something. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to de-size one of them or de-biggin it, whichever you'd like to call it. See, that, that one fits in there fine. It's, uh, it's that hole there that's going to be the problem because it's smaller than that. Um, anyway, so that's where I'm at. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do, do with this. And then uh, I'll move on. Yeah, let's see how well this cuts aluminum. That wasn't very well. I think my problem is this is supposed to be magnetized to it, and I can't do that. It's ugling it up pretty good. I have to figure out a different way of doing this. Um, huh. All right. Let's 
Give this a try. Not very confident, but it might work. Got it. So Oh, you're real close. I didn't quite make it all the way through yet. Um, it's a pretty nice hole. It makes a pretty good mess too. So, I'm all done with this. I'm going to put this away. And then we're going to have to uh, size this hole a little bit bigger. -a. That makes quite a mess for uh, just one little hole, huh? Alright, uh, so we got to get this hole a little bit bigger. Um, that rod measures 870 thousandths. So let's measure the hole we got. And it is 809. So that means we got to go, we have 61. Let's just say 60, because I'm probably not going to be that close. So 60, so we're going to go 30 on each side. Because whatever you take off one side, you take off the other. So we'll go 30. And I'm just going to kind of score around there and make an outline around the edge. And then um, i got an end mill. I'm going to try to put the end mill in the drill press and I'm just going to try to kind of open it up with that instead of the burr because then at least with, within the drill press it'll kind of keep it straight. So uh, let's get that set up and see, uh, see if it works. So I sped this up. I got it down probably um, just a little bit, maybe like a quarter of an inch or something or a third of the way through. So I don't have a lot to take off, so I'm just going to kind of sit in here and kind of run it around and see if we can get it to uh, open up. So, it's not too bad of a hole, huh? Once it gets all opened up. Let's see. Where do we, where do we need to be? 870, I think. No, we're way big. We're 9. 904. 930. Well, might have just been better off drilling a hole it was too big because you might be too big well so i guess you don't know until you try but yeah i ended up getting a little bit probably a little too big with this one too so i'll just use a bolt in the middle here and we'll just use it as a uh like a clamp 
clamp into it. I mean, it's not the way I wanted to do it, but whatever. So, I mean, that'll work. You just have to be a little bit more steady than I am. I'm probably better at holding it. I think the problem is once the line disappears, you don't know how far into it you're going. And it's not it's not way off this way. It's kind of off this way. Um, so, anyway, it'll work. You just got to be better at doing it than I am. All right, so I'm going to drill. drill these now before I cut this out. It'll be a little easier to hold. So we're going to slow this down. I might do I might tap it too so I run the tap in there I'm just gonna do the same 5 16 that I've been doing and then we just cut it out and I'm pretty much done so say I'm just gonna run a tap in this and then uh, cut it out I got a four pack of these skateboard wheels with bearings. Um, so I took one of them and I just kind of tightened this nut up to it and put it in a drill and then just spun it until I sanded it down to a, a size that would fit inside this hole here. So that'll be the little end. The big one will be the big end. So I just get that on the front there like so. Um, these came with these little spacers that are between the bearings in there, which is that little guy right there. So I took one, took that one apart, took the spacer out, and I'm using the spacer to hold it off the back like that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the front um, on this little arm. So I'll do this wheel with the spacer right there, and we'll bolt the with the bearing onto this block here and then hang this block on there and we should be done so get that all put together all right so i got this all assembled seems to work pretty well got a pretty good centering so i got plenty of rotation there and there seems seems to work pretty good um i decided i'm just going to leave the that rod long because if I ever need that piece of material I can use it doesn't really hurt anything being tall like that um, so yeah it all seems to work pretty well I just kind of turn that down by hand and it holds fine so I don't know the exact height of the scale but I got this block under there just to kind of sort of simulate it um, so, yeah, that seems to function pretty well. I don't know, I'd have to put it on a scale, see how it does, see what the consistency of it is. But all in all, I think it'd be good. So I just pretty much assembled this and put, put a, a bolt in there, obviously to hold that. I put a little washer behind it just to keep... Uh, anything from rubbing on um 
on the outside of the bearing and the that block. And then pretty much down here, I just got them spacers in there. And the two and a half inch, five sixteenths bolts poking through a little bit. So I don't know. I think it'd be good. So my right, next step in reassembling my engine over there. If I had just gotten all the same weight connecting rods, I wouldn't have had to made this, make this, and I wouldn't have to weigh them, and I wouldn't have to really balance them too much. But anyway, such is my luck. So, uh, anyway, hope that can help someone. Thanks for watching.